Hi, this is Pia and you are watching News of the Week. Master G of Bollywood Saroj Khan passes away. Saroj Khan, a choreographer of over 2000 Bollywood songs, passes away. She died of cardiac arrest at a hospital in Mumbai. She was 71. Bollywood's first female choreographer Saroj Khan, whose sizzling dance routines breathed life into Hundreds of films died, triggering further heartbreak in an industry already reeling from a string of recent deaths. She got her break in 1974 with Geeta Mera Naam. The 1988 number Ek To Teen, choreographed by Khan, made Madhuri Dixit a star overnight and the actress was among the first to pay tribute to the woman she called her teacher. Khan dominated Bollywood's dance floors over the next decade churning out hits such as 1987's Hawa Hawaii, 1993's Choli Ke Piche, and 2002's Dola Re Dola. She won three national awards for her choreography in the Bollywood movies Dev Das and Jab We Met and for the Tamil film Shringaram. Tributes poured in on social media for the ace choreographer who was known as the mother of choreography in India and fondly called Master G by most of the actors she worked with. US job growth accelerates in June, second stimulus check expected by August. According to federal data, the US economy added a record 4.8 million jobs in June. The unemployment rate in June was 11.1%, the Bureau of Labor Statistics said, down from a peak of 14.7% in April but still far above the 3.5% level notched in February. Last week, another 1.4 million Americans applied for unemployment insurance for the first time, and more than 19 million people are still receiving unemployment benefits, stubbornly high levels that show how many people are struggling to find or keep work. There is still a lot of hardship, heartbreak in these numbers, National Economic Council Director Larry Kudlow said, I think we have a lot more work to do. Treasury Secretary Mnuchin told reporters that the White House is seriously considering another round of coronavirus stimulus checks for Americans. Mnuchin stated the next stimulus bill would be focused on jobs and may not include a stimulus payment. Most analysts are anticipating this being approved and dispersed in August. Russians give Putin power until 2036 and ban on same-sex marriage. Russians have overwhelmingly voted in favor of changes to the country's constitution that enable President Volodymyr Putin to potentially stay in power up to 2036. The 67-year-old's current term ends in 2024. With all the votes counted, the Electoral Commission said on Thursday morning that the final count showed 78% of those who voted were in favor of amendments to the Constitution of Russia and 21% against, state news agency RIA Novosti reported. Data showed voter turnout was 65. The vote on constitutional amendments was billed as a referendum, but the changes had already been passed by Russia's parliament and the public vote was seen as a move to legitimize the amendments. Putin has not yet explicitly stated that he will run for office again. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has congratulated Russian President Vladimir Putin on this historic vote. Modi was the first world leader to speak to Putin after Russian voters approved the changes. Russia also voted in favor of a national referendum that defines marriage exclusively as a union between a man and a woman. Indian company launch GeoMeet. Indian government bans 59 Chinese apps. India banned 59 Chinese apps this week in a surprise move. The government alleged that these apps were stealing data and sending it to the servers located outside the country. These apps include some major names such as TikTok, Hilo, WeChat, UC Browser, ShareIt, and Baidu Map. Two days after these apps are removed from the Google Play Store and the Google App Store, in the meantime, India's Reliance Geo platforms are ready to enter the business of video conferencing. They formally launched GeoMeet, its video conferencing service that looks 
uncannily like Zoom. GeoMeet offers an unlimited number of free calls in high definition to users and supports as many as 100 participants. The service currently has no paid plans. Geo Platforms, which has about 400 million customers, operates several digital services, including Geo Music, a music streaming service, Geo Cinema, which offers thousands of movies and TV shows, and Geo TV, which allows users to watch more than 500 TV channels. All these services are available at no additional charge to Geo Platform subscribers. After India's ban on Chinese apps, the Indian platform ShareChat has launched the Moje app as a replacement, offering features like that of TikTok concerning special effects, short videos, emoticons, and stickers. The app is available on Google Play Store for free. U.S. seeing surge in coronavirus cases. Coronavirus cases are rising in 40 of the 50 U.S. states heading into the July 4th holiday weekend. Many states are pausing or even reversing plans to reopen. Health officials and experts attribute the rise in cases to reopenings across the country because of uneven use of masks and increased travel. To contain the outbreak, Florida has closed bars and some beaches, but the governor has resisted requiring masks statewide in public or reimposing a lockdown. In Texas, Governor Abbott issued a statewide mandate requiring Texans to wear masks in public in any county with 20 or more positive COVID-19 cases. Dr. Fauci attributed rising case numbers in the United States at least partially to the fact lockdown measures were more lenient. On a positive note, FDA Commissioner Stephen Hahn shared that the United States is on track to have a vaccine against the coronavirus by the end of this year or early 2021. The FDA has given the authorization to proceed with clinical trials for four vaccines. That's it on the news of the week. This is Pia signing off. Wishing you all a happy 4th of July. Stay safe.